My name is Mr. Ishengoma, and we are looking at composite functions exercise right now. Number one, given the three functions, we have three functions given. Function of f, we are given also function of g, and we are given function of h. So A, we have to simplify function G will be going inside of function F. So we can write this like G X, and then we can write like F X, where we say G X will go inside of instead of fx. Now, function g, we know it is x plus 5. And then function f, it is 4x. All right, so here, function g will go inside of function f. So we shall have 4 bracket x plus 5 because when one function is going inside another, the whole previous function will, will be substituting the x of the next function. And here we shall open the bracket, we shall get 4x plus, plus 20. So therefore, we shall say the function g x will be uh, 4x plus 20. Then we go to the next question. Next question here, we shall have function f, and we know function f. Remember, always you must start with the function which is closest to the bracket. Always you must start with the function which is closest to the bracket. And remember, our bracket is our domain. So first is function f, and function f is 4x. Then after function f, we shall put the function f inside function h, because function h is the next function. And the function h is x squared. So this function will go inside of this one here. So that means the whole function will go to replace the x of the next function, and we shall get 4 x squared, we shall get 4x squared. So when you open this bracket, 4 squared, it will be 16, and x squared. So this will guarantee to us that when you simplify f uh, of this, we shall get 16x squared. So this will be our answer for the second, for the second part. So let's go to the third part. Um, first of all, first of all, we shall do H. First of all, we shall do H, and then we shall keep the H. We shall keep the H there. All right. So H is X square. Then the next one, this H will go inside of G. So the next is G. So what is my G? My G is x plus 5. So what we do is this h has to go inside of g. And remember, when one function is going inside another, when one function is going inside another function, it means the whole of the function has to replace the x. The whole of the function has to replace the x of the next, or next function. So we shall get x squared plus plus five good so for this case now there is no need of simplifying anything because there is no simplifying so we shall conclude that our answer is x square plus five right let's go to question number two question number two says given fx so now we are given fx is equal to 2x we are given gx is equal to 
minus 3 and we are given hx is equal to x squared. There we go. So first we have gf of x. We need to simplify. So in order to simplify this, we have to get f and we keep f inside of g. So we take fx and we know fx is 2x and this fx will go inside of g. And what's our g? Our g is x minus 3. Our g is x minus 3. So the first function always goes inside the second function. Remember, don't forget, the function which is near to the bracket is our first function. It will go inside the next function. Okay. So that means the previous function, that is fx, will all go inside the x of the next function. And we shall get, on the place of x, we shall put 2x. So we shall have 2x minus 3. And since this cannot be simplified, so this will be our final answer. So gf of x is equal to 2x minus 3. Okay, we go to the number 2. Number 2, it is combined twice. We have three functions. That means function f will go inside of function g. Then after putting function f inside of g, then the whole answer will go inside of function h. Function f, I repeat, it will all go inside of g. Then I take the whole answer, I keep it inside of h. Right, so my fx is the first one, which is 2x. My next one is gx, is the second one, which is x minus 3. And then my last one is hx. And my hx is x squared. So first I keep f inside of g. Remember, when you are keeping it inside of g, it must all replace only the x, only the x. So I remove this x here and I keep this uh, function of before and I get 2x minus 3. So if this can simplify, I go ahead to simplify it. But for now, 2x minus 3 does not simplify. So meaning the whole of this now, I have to also go and keep it inside of the next one there. So when I keep inside of the next one, I get 2x minus 3 squared because the whole previous has to replace only x. Now, when I get this, this is like meaning x minus 3 and again x minus 3. So we need to uh, open this bracket. We need to open this bracket. So in order to open this bracket, we multiply. So we get 4x squared minus 2x times minus 3, I get 6x minus 6x plus 9. And my final answer will be um, h g f of x is equal to 4x squared minus 12x plus 9. So this is our final answer. All right, we go to number 3. Again, number 3 has got three functions. So the first one always is the one near to the bracket. So I get it and I put inside the next one. Then after getting the answer of the next one, I get the whole answer I keep inside the next one, right? So we start with h. h of x is x squared. Then the next one is f. f of x is 2x. So that means I have to get this function I keep inside of f. So this has to go inside of there. When I put it inside here, I just get 2x squared. And 2x squared does not need to simplify. So I go to the last one, and the last one is gx. And my gx is x minus 3. So that means now I have to get the fx I keep inside of gx. So meaning I get this whole answer, I keep inside the x, and I will get 2x squared minus three and this one doesn't have to simplify so this is the final answer so therefore g f h of x will be equal to 
2x squared minus 3. So this is our final answer for part A. So now we are going to part B. Yeah. Part B says evaluate. Now, before we were simplifying, but now here part B we have to evaluate. Now this is like we are working out, we are solving. All right, so when we are solving now, again, the same procedure. First solve G, the answer you get, use it for X, for F. Right, so I solve G first, so I have G of four, so I'm working out G of four. So my, my G is X minus three. And so on the place of X, I keep four, then minus three. And my answer is one, right? Because remember, uh, the function of g x is x minus three. So on the place of x here, there is four. So it means I remove this x and I keep four, right? So I get one. Now this one goes inside of f, so I become now f of one, right? And I know the function of f in question two is two x. Right, so on the place of x, I keep one, so it will be two bracket one, and the final answer will be will be two. So therefore, I conclude that f g of four is equal to two. Right, I go to number two. Right, I start with f because f is the nearest to the bracket, so I do f of seven, f of seven. So on the place of x here on function f, I keep seven. So it will be two bracket seven. So when I do two bracket seven, my answer is 14. So it means this 14 becomes for g. And my function g is x minus three. So on the place of x, I keep 14 minus three. And my final answer becomes 11. So therefore, my g f of seven, the final answer is 11. Okay, I move on to the next question. <clears throat> Here, I have to start with h. And remember, my function for h is given as x squared. So meaning on the place of x, I have to keep minus three. So h, minus three is equal to x square so it will be minus three square and minus three square is nine so this nine becomes for g because we said the answer for h the answer for h will go to the next one so now i have g of nine g of nine and we know the function for g here is x minus three so this means it is nine minus three and I get six. So therefore, the final answer for this question will be six. That is the final, final answer. Okay, we go to Roman four. We go to Roman four. So Roman four says f of two first, then the answer goes to g, then the answer of g goes to f. Right. So I start with f of two, and I know f of 2 means 2 times 2, which is 4. Now, next is g. So it will be now g of 4, the answer of the previous one. And my g is 4 minus 3, my answer is 1. Then this 1 will go to the next function. So it will be f of 1. And my function f is 2x. So it means 2 times 1, my answer is 2. So therefore, it will be f, g, f of 2. The answer is two. Right. Let's go to the um, uh, five Roman five. Right. I have G G G. So means I have to do the first G. The answer I get I put to the second G. Then the answer I get I put to the third G. Right. So the first G is of ten. So that means ten minus three I get seven. So this seven goes inside the second G. So that will be. 7 minus 3, I get 4. So this 4 goes inside the third G. Then I get 4 minus 3, my answer is 1. So meaning there are 4, G 
g g of 10 is equal to 1 g g g of 10 is equal to 1 right we go to the next one this will go inside of f then f will go inside of h okay so here what i'll do is mm -hmm, i will start with the h of minus 2 because that's the nearest to the bracket and we know h is square right so it will be minus 2 square and minus 2 squared is 4. The answer I get, I take to the next function, that is f. So now I solve for f. And I know f is 2x. So it means 2 times 4. And my answer is 8. All right. Then I get this 8. I keep it to the next function, which is h. Right. So h is x squared. So meaning I will have to do 8 squared. And I will get 64. So therefore, my final answer here will be... Yeah, it will be 60, 64. Right, let's go to number three. Let's go to question three. Question three says, given functions here, we are given this function there for f, then this function for m, and then this function for n. So we have got three functions there, and we are told to find, we are told to find uh, x. So we start with A. We start with the A. All right. So A goes F M X is equal to 10. So that means, first of all, I need to combine these two. Then I can relate to 10. All right. So I start with M. So M of X is 3X minus 1. Then f of x is 2x plus 1. So I get this whole function, and you replace it inside of this one. So it will be 2 bracket 3x minus 1 plus 1. Because the first function has to go inside the second one. Here, this is m, it has to go inside of h. Right, so I've kept it inside of h. So I open the bracket. I get 6x minus 1 plus let's say all right six x minus two plus one then when i simplify this i get six x minus one all right so this is the answer for f m x but now in the question here i have to replace f m x and i get six x minus one is equal to ten because remember here we are told it is equal to is equal to ten so I start working this. So this is equal to 11, then divide by 6, divide by 6, then I get my x as 1, 5 over 6. So that's how we work out. So first we do the, uh, we simplify the functions and then we uh, combine the two. So the same here, I have to get this n, I keep it inside f. And also this side, I have to get this n, I keep it inside of m. Right. So my n, my n is this one. So I keep it inside f. So x square, it will be 2 x square plus 1. I've kept x square instead of x. And this side, I have to keep n instead of n. So I will get 3 x square minus 1 when I keep x square on the place of x. Right, then now I can work this out. Correct like terms. So 1 plus 1 is equal to 3x squared minus 2x squared. Right, then I get x squared is equal to, to 2. So if I get x squared is equal to 2, that means I do square root. And I know now my x will be plus or minus of the square root of two right that's it we go to the uh, third one keep first of all we have been p so it means we have to change the x to become p right once we are given on the place of x is p so you have to change x it becomes p right so uh, f of p f of p will be 2p plus 
right? Then the next one is n. So n of p now, it will be uh, p square. So I keep this inside of there. So when I keep this in place of p, I will get 2p plus 1 square. And this side also, m of p will be 3p minus 1. And then n of p, n of p will be uh, n of p here, n of p, it will be p square. So it means also I keep this inside of there. I'll get 3p minus 1 square. Right. So meaning I have these two questions now. This is equal to this. Okay. So first I can square root both sides. Square root, square root. So I'll get 2p plus 1 is equal to 3p minus 1. Then I collect like terms. So 1 plus 1 is equal to 3p minus 2p. So it means p is 2. And that is how we suppose to work out uh, these, these questions.